Anne Macklem here. I had three other doctor's appointments and I've seen my massage therapist twice. Um, I had a, a bone density scan and that was a very short appointment. They were just checking to see how my bones were compared to 2018. So apparently I have some bone loss and they want me to take uh, OSCAL for that. They didn't say how much of a loss I had, but I had the little bit of bone loss, so I don't know. Let's see. And then I saw a pre-op doctor and a couple of nurses, and they mostly asked me questions. Let's see, they took my weight. They asked me questions. They did not even take a blood test. Uh, but I did talk to the doctor uh, about my mass feeling softer and smaller. And in her opinion, it's getting its own blood vessels and spreading out and so that's why it feels soft. And I said, it is a, a non-aggressive cancer, so why would it be spreading out if it's non-aggressive? And she said, you know, just because it's non-aggressive does not mean that it will not spread. And I, I think I pointed out to her that between October of 2021 and March of 2022. I mean, there was nothing there. And then all of a sudden there's a big disc shape there. And I, in my own mind, I think that's aggressive as something cannot be there at all. And then all of a sudden it is there. Pro probably almost exactly so yeah, November, December, January, February, March, five months later. Fairly big. I, th I think about this big. I think so, pretty big and moving around. Anyway, so then I also had an appointment with my gynecologist. And I scheduled that one myself because I had concerns and questions and worries and I I always feel like she's easy to talk to and my doctor was on vacation so I saw her nurse and her nurse is very nice so I addressed my concern about the mass and the fact that I thought it was much softer and smaller and uh, I I asked her to check it, and she did, and she agreed with me that it is softer, and it doesn't have edges like it did when I first found it. Um, but she also pointed out to me that although my cancer is classified as being non-aggressive, that doesn't have anything to do with how fast or big a cancer might grow too. So I, I thought that was very interesting. But she, she would not confirm or deny that my mass was bigger or smaller, but she definitely agreed with me that it is softer and has no edges. And I believe that she was surprised by that but she doesn't want to take a side as to it's getting smaller or it's getting bigger or what. So she's also said that, you know, the, the best thing in finding out about the size is just wait until the day of surgery when they're actually looking at it, and then they will tell you. Um, anyway, and she said with her own experience of helping 
women who have gone through the breast cancer and lost a breast or had the full reconstruction. She said, they don't change. You know, every, everything about your body continues to function normally. It's not going to be a, a huge change. She said, in most cases, people just continue right on. Um, she did say, though, that the main thing that she has noticed is that women who don't address and face all of their feelings at or at least very close to the time that they have reconstruction or mastectomy or whatever, if they haven't faced everything completely, then that comes back to haunt them and it could be a problem for their overall full recovery. So she recommended that I should go see a psychiatrist someone that I could talk about all my feelings with and someone that I would be able to confide in. And I said, I mean, are, are there people who are actually able to understand all of this without actually going through it themselves? And she, she said she thought so. Um, I guess scientifically speaking, they can understand many things about it. They may not be under, able to understand personally what women are going through. Um, but I'm at a, a place, you know, where I don't want to leave any stone unturned. I want to talk about it, get it out in the open, and flush it out of my life so I can move on. Uh, I am going to call my doctor tomorrow and ask about, you know, what, what would they do if the mass wasn't there or if it had shrunk so small that removing everything wasn't necessary. I, I want to know the answer because I want to know if you know, since she already signed up for that surgery, that they are going to do it no matter what? Or could they have a change of plan? I don't know. But I guess I'm, I'm feeling pretty positive. But I have a lot to do before my sister comes. She's coming to take care of me for the next three weeks. Hopefully I don't need much care, but... It'll be nice to see her. I will let you know anything else if I actually do get a measurement, which I did not receive. So uh, I hope that my discussion about my journey has been at least somewhat interesting and informational. I'm expecting one way or the other to get through all of this just fine and, uh, yeah, move forward. That's what I want to do. Bye.